When King Hrothgar and his men spotted a troll in a field, he ordered it to be killed. At that moment, the troll was walking with his son Grendel, and the boy managed to hide when the men appeared. After finishing off the troll, Hrothgar noticed Grendel, and swung to kill the boy, but stopped in time. He took pity on the boy, and let him live. Finding his father's body on the beach, Grendel cut off his head, and took it to his cave. Years later, as Grendel grew up and matured, his father's head was still there. It served as a reminder of what Hrothgar had done. Meanwhile, the king had invited the people of the community to Heorot to celebrate and have fun. During the night, Grendel came there as well. He killed everyone who was in the Mead Hall. Upon seeing the corpses of his subjects, Hrothgar realized that his people had been struck by a curse. Around the same time, a famed hero named Beowulf swam ashore. His ship had been caught in a storm, and he was the only one to survive. A local fisherman fed and warmed him. Beowulf confessed that he now owes him a debt of gratitude. Hearing of King Hrothgar's curse, Beowulf traveled to his lands to deal with the troll. On the way, he was musing while standing at the edge of the boat, and someone's hand jumped out of the water and grabbed his wrist. Beowulf managed to break free but realized it was a bad omen, and while he swam, Hrothgar tried to find and kill the troll himself. Grendel did not come out to fight him but continued to kill the king's closest men and guards. Hrothgar became desperate. He started to drink heavily and allowed himself to show weakness even in front of his subjects. His wife scolded him for this, and even slapped him, but it did not bring the king to his senses. Soon afterward, a priest named Brendan arrived in Hrothgar's lands. He practiced Christianity, and firmly believed that only one god could save the king from the troll's curse. But Hrothgar was in no hurry to change his gods for a single Christian one. The queen heads to a local witch named Selma to learn Hrothgar's fate. She wants to see if she should be worried about her husband, because Selma can predict exactly how a man will die. Selma reassures the queen by telling her that Hrothgar will die happy. Upon landing on the shore, Beowulf meets a guard. He is not pleased to see armed warriors on his land, but when he learns that the famed hero has arrived, he escorts him to the king. Hrothgar welcomed the guests warmly. He fed them and treated them to drinks. However, not everyone in the king's circle believed that Beowulf could defeat the beast. Beowulf decided to prove that he could kill the troll. He and his warriors locked themselves in Heorot and waited. Father Brendan sat outside and prayed. Grendel walked past him, went to the door of Heorot, and when he realized that there were no Danish people inside, he simply peed on the door and left. When the warriors ran outside, no one was there anymore. The troll's urine had to be cleaned up by servants because the stench was so strong that it was impossible to breathe. But that was not Beowulf's concern. He tried to understand why Grendel had not attacked them, for he had easily killed Hrothgar's guards. The king would not admit the reason for the troll's behavior, yet he knew that Grendel was taking revenge for his father. After talking to the king, Beowulf went to look for the troll in the mountains. As they were walking up the trail, one of the warriors almost walked into a trap. The antlers of a deer were tied to a log, and it fell on the travelers from behind another rock. No one was hurt. Beowulf did not find the troll that day. While he and his warriors were hanging around the mountains, Grendel was playing with human skulls, throwing them at each other. Back in the community, Beowulf saw Father Brendan baptizing the locals. They were frightened by the troll's attacks, and decided to find protection in the form of one god. Beowulf goes to Selma to ask her about the troll. Selma lived in isolation because she was loathed by the other villagers. She thought the hero had come to learn of his death, and was surprised when he asked about Grendel. However, she was not going to help him in catching and killing the troll. Back to the king, Beowulf began to ask questions. He wanted to understand why the troll only kills men, and does not touch children, women, and old men. Hrothgar dodged a direct answer so that he would not tell him the reason for Grendel's revenge. During the night, Beowulf set up another ambush at Heorot, but the troll came only to taunt them. He started throwing rocks at Heorot, and when the men ran outside, he just hid. Grendel looked like a stone, and Beowulf didn't notice him. When the hero turned away, the troll just got up and walked away. The next day, Beowulf went to Selma again to see if he was doing the right thing. He wanted the witch to throw the dice and tell him what they revealed. But Selma knows what Beowulf should do even without the dice. She sends him back home. The hero is willing to leave, but only if the dice say so. Selma agrees to help him, but as she throws the bones, a noise comes from outside, and Beowulf runs out to have a look. He sees Grendel running away and rushes off in pursuit. Selma rides off in pursuit. Beowulf stops when he sees Grendel on the mountain. They start talking, and the troll says that he's not going to fight Beowulf because he hasn't done anything to him. Besides, he's not Danish, and the troll only kills Danes. <laughs> What? Beowulf then returned to Selma, and the latter made it clear that she was on Grendel's side. Unlike the people of the community, the troll treated her well and helped her. 
After talking to her, Beowulf went to the king again, and he said that after killing all the men, the troll would surely get to the women and children, but Beowulf did not believe him. He realized that Hrothgar was just trying to get him to fight Grendel. The king admits to the hero that he wants to die happy, and if Beowulf gets rid of the troll, Hrothgar will be happy. To reinsure himself, he decides to accept Christianity, and the priest conducts the rite of baptism. After that, Beowulf returns to the settlement and sees the local kids beating up the holy fool, accusing him of stealing. The hero stops the boys and promises to deal with the poor man. He declares that he knows where Grendel's cave is, and can take the soldiers there. Beowulf asks him to show the way. The fool leads the soldiers through the mountains for a long time until they come to a cliff. The cripple tells them to climb down, but it is not an easy thing to do without a rope. Hansiach nearly falls trying to climb down the cliff. Beowulf decides to come back another time, and Brekka urinates on the path leading into the cave before leaving. On the way back, as the warriors were rowing the boat, Beowulf noticed a red-haired boy on the shore. Then someone's hand grabbed Brekka and nearly dragged him under the water. He was rescued, and in the evening, the warriors just laughed at what had happened. At night, Beowulf and his men stayed behind to guard the troll again. The hero dozed off and dreamed of the boy, only now he was holding a sword. In the morning, at Heorot's door, Beowulf found the corpse of the cripple who had led them to the cave. Grendel had killed him. The hero and his warriors went to the troll's habitation. They climbed down the rope and went inside. There were many human remains and weapons, but Grendel himself was not there. Finding the dried head of the troll's father, Hansiach cursed it, then cut it with his sword and spat on the splinters. Afterward, Beowulf went to Selma so that she could take him to Grendel. He intends to fight the troll, even if the troll is avenging the Danes for their misdeed. Beowulf just wants to stop the murders occurring in the land. The witch says that the hero will finish off the troll, and after that, Beowulf unties and lets her go. Upon arriving at his cave, the troll finds the place a shambles. He sees his father's head, chopped and spit on, and smells Hansiach. Enraged, Grendel goes to Heorot to finish off his offender. Once inside, he easily scatters Beowulf's warriors, reaches Hansioch, and kills him. The troll then tries to escape, but Beowulf catches up with him in the attic and ties a rope to his arm. This does not stop Grendel, and he jumps down, but hanging onto his arm, he realizes he is trapped, so he cuts off his arm and escapes. Once by the sea, he dies, and the creature that attacked Brekka takes him underwater. When the king learns of the troll's death, he tells Beowulf the truth about why Grendel was killing the Danes. The troll's body was never found, and people even began to suspect that he had regrown his arm and was now wandering somewhere among the mountains. The severed arm was pinned to a pole in Heorot as a trophy. The people of the community rejoiced and celebrated the killing of the monster. After the festivities, Beowulf went to Selma to talk. The witch told him that a troll had come in one night and taken her by force. He had been protecting and caring for her ever since. After that, Selma said she wanted Beowulf, and he went to bed with her. While they were busy making their case, Grendel's mother, a sea witch, came into the community. She killed the priest in a flash, and then entered Heorot and took her son's severed arm. No one was ever able to stop her. At the same moment, the boy Beowulf had seen earlier entered Selma's hut. It was her son, born of Grendel. After the troll took Selma by force, she got pregnant and gave birth. Learning of the sea witch's attack, Beowulf led the warriors in her footsteps. They found a cave filled with water. The hero had to remove his protection and dive in. He surfaced in a new cave where Grendel's body lay. His mother attacked Beowulf, but he managed to kill her. Then Selma's son appeared. He grabbed his sword and prepared to defend his father's body. But Beowulf realized who this boy was and lowered his weapon. He left him alive and left the cave. Before sailing home, Beowulf bade Selma farewell, created a memorial mound for Grendel, and boarded the boat. Selma's son saw the hero bury his father, so when Beowulf set sail, he and Selma came to see him off. On the way back, one of Beowulf's warriors started to write a new legend about everything that had happened in the land. 